Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Welcome to the BBC, where you only get your cutting edge news here. Don't do that. And Bragg from Wel- Braggio. Welcome to the BBC. Why are we the BBC? Why would we be the ABC? Um. You're not British, in it. That was the worst fucking attempt to say British, British. ever. Yeah, I fell on it a little bit. That's fine. You sound like an old decrepit hag. You're like, it's not British. <laughs> Only two of those things are true. Apologies to our Scottish listeners. What? It wasn't even that. Anyway, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Wait, Let's wait, 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 begin. Sorry. sorry. No, one, one more. I just have to make another British joke. You sounded like the Queen. <laughs> like the Queen now, yeah. today. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Cool. Shit talking over with. How was your week? Sorry to the Welsh. Nah, next question. I played fucking terribly on Tuesday night. Oh, well, no, no, I just got hit with every fucking black card on the planet. Tell me more. That, that was it. Tell me again. Slower. I lost every round. Slow. No, I didn't. I think I won Whisper. like fucking round one. Then I hit with every hand trap in the world and I was pretty cooked and I was like, yeah, no, no, I'm not, no. So we're talking, we're talking Ash here, we're talking Diddy Crow, we're no, talking Nim, we're talking, Nim, like we're talking Evenly, Impern. Lightning Storm, everything. It's not a hand trap. Those, <laughs> evenly, arguably, is a hand trap. Oh, yeah, but definitely. <laughs> not quite, lightning quite storm. literally is a said, hand trap. I thought I said blowout card. Um, Sorry. No, you said hand traps. Uh, I also got hit with those. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Well, I don't really feel that, but I feel in a different way. Well, I feel better now. Better now. Bro, you fucking beat me on Tuesday night. Yeah, I did, and then you shit talked to me, so I brought it up again. Fuck you, Bragg. How was your week? <laughs> oh, it's been a week. Firstly, <laughs> it has indeed been seven days. In normal Yu-Gi-Oh, tournaments so good. It's so fun right now. Mm-hmm. It's just like I like the lines now instead of like just the the smorgasbord of cards that were early in the year, which was also fun in my opinion, but not many people found it fun. Yeah. But just the nice streamlined. Find your Millers. Off you go. Like, Sorry. Foolish Burial having a use. I built two elements. Warms my heart. But you hate two elements. I oh, built yeah. this version of two elements. Yeah. <laughs> Rush <laughs> dual two elements. Jesus Christ. So you enjoyed in that, but you don't enjoy it in the TCG. Is oh, it just it's, the it's, interaction? It's so much more different up? than this. Yeah, this is more. Um, Good. You yeah. get to send your shit to bid and your opponent doesn't have responses? Is that. Well, oh, they no, don't, yeah, they yeah. don't trigger yeah. when you mill them. Yeah. yeah, I understand that, it's but it's still mission. a thing of putting it in the bin. Yeah. yeah, but then you use the fusion spells with your bin as your material. And yeah. then you so make it's two element at home, quite literally, because you won't bring this into locals, you'll only play it here. Well, I can't play this at locals because you won't build a rush tools deck. Correct. Anyway, Bragg, uh, so tier in TCG, fun. Yeah. Also, on this note, so the Seven Roads Magician stuff... Limited on the last ban list. Set semi limited. Uh, they limited my ban. My, my spell fusion. It was so we were on two different wavelengths last night. Where I'm like, oh my god, his his attacks gonna be so big for his seven rows, and he's like, oh no, I'm just making fusion materials. I'm like, oh, this is yeah. even worse. The just, seven rows is big. Yeah, but the fusion monsters are bigger. One full week of dual links. So has warped his brain. Let's give Jake a teaching here. So seven rows magician. Teaching implies that Best. I'll be absorbing the information uh, and I shall be forgetting it the so second good. I walk out of this. Activation, it mills, and then it gains 300 for each attribute. Cool, cool. The fusion cool, monster cool. gains 700 uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. for yep. each type. Yep, 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 And it can yep, attack yep, twice. Yep, yep, yep. It's, it's just fucking huge. Why, I don't know why it's type. Type is so unfair. Yeah. Because it means, it, it does mean... You got a splash. You got just zombies, every single time. Spellcasters, wing beasts, dragons. I play everything. Back to the world I care about. Um, so, are you going to be playing tier um, at any sort of non this apartment type pot of greed thing? I might play Thursday. Ooh, Thursdays. No, uh, I'm not, actually no. I'm not. I'm not going. Yeah, I'm going to go Thursday, which means I'm going to give the deck back to Logan, and he's going to ruin it with crap cards. Yeah, his take on Did his you take graveyard cards out decks that really haven't been... Because they were probably my cards. Uh, they're all in the pile still. Okay. In the Logan pile. And then... Oh, Bragg, do you sleeve the deck? Yeah, I re I sleeved the my ones. Damn. Yeah. Logan only just bought those sleeves off me. Yeah. Don't know why. They have... Well, they do the job. They do a job. Uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to p- 
play Thursday, and then we'll see how they go next. Actually, no, I can get two Thursdays out of it. No, I can't because I will miss. Because the 6.30 start times are so annoying for locals. Mm -hmm. Was it 12 o'clock today? Yeah. It's 12 o'clock on Sundays. Spencer, though? No. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I've got one or two Thursdays. I'm not sure how this is going to go post new format. New format. Post new set with all the horror stuff. Uh, fucking his guys are going to go off if he gets all the stuff in time. Because, my God, we'll get to that. Uh, and then it's been Rush Jewel, Jewel Links all week. All week. I was one win off King of Games not 50 minutes ago, and I've been having a temper tantrum ever since. <laughs> it's like in a mirror match, and I'm going second. It's like there was nothing I could have done. There was like, actually, there's a lie. I'm, there is something I could have done. I still would have lost, but I knew I'd misplayed, and I'm like, oh, if I lose this by 800 life, I'm going to like fucking be so mad. Nick, you just still haven't put the cards on. Yeah, which he's going to need, which we'll get to, I promise. Uh, and then, yeah, Duel Links has been pretty fun. It's been pretty good. I do... also Rush Duel. Yeah, yeah, the Rush Duel part of Duel Links. The rest of Duel Links is a mess, which is now Speed Jewels on the other side. They're full using the logo and everything. Actually? Yeah. So, so it's now called Duel Links anymore? Duel Links well, so Duel Links, and then you have the two formats in Duel Links, Speed Jewels, Rush Jewels. Oh. So Duel Links is more like what they're calling the app as opposed to what they're calling the game? Yeah. Yes. Ew. Yeah. So then Interesting can... pivot. Yes. I say interesting. That's a lie. Um, my week. Um, so Tuesday I won. Um, I can't remember what a... Oh, verse Dragon Link in the final. Uh, one of my side cards finally came up. The Daruma Karma Cannon thingy. Because uh, I summoned my... Um, copy of access code talker off turn mm. so it's nice and big and beefy and he had to summon his access code in order to add it and then i flipped my daruma karma cannon and got rid of it and that's all he had that's pretty cute um yeah and he just had no other resources uh i am learning a bit more about the lines in order to play around nibiru now um so a couple times now i've been nibiru or like hand trapped all buggery and still been able to build a board mm. which is cool um yeah, um, and then today, uh, what did I verse today? I think game one was uh, like some bestial synchro control deck. It was not amazing. Sorry, Kurt. Um, game two was against... Why is he playing Tear? I don't know. Maybe now it's popular. Maybe he has that complex of like, oh, now that's good, I'm not going to play it. No, nah, he wants that like one fusion card that lets him use the fiends and the, the fusion card and a sub replacement fiend level three. Oh, the saga yeah as we talked about but, last but time. it like it's proven to work without it so you could just do it without it and then i oh, know he wants to play chimera specifically yes which is obviously not tier play chimera very tier. different no nah. it's just branded too yeah it's branded with uh more disruption which i'm which i'm open to like and it's pretty cute but i mean i that just... doesn't feel they power crypt branded do you have the urge to play Chimera. Well, does it really... I have all the stuff, I just haven't actually sat down to learn the combos properly. Doesn't... But you have the itch to play it. Of the several decks that I have lined up, it's probably somewhere in the middle of the ranking. There's a couple other things I want to give a go first. No one those not... other things purple? No. Why not? Because Let's you ex... paint me as this fusion person, even though that's not me. Let's explore this. You should play it, though. No one reads the illusions. No, they don't. It's, it's like I know when I versed it I didn't <laughs> <laughs> He's like, like I'll enter battle phase I'm like that's cool Okay uh, Attack a couple times And this thing's at zero I was like Oh sorry <laughs> no. Yeah Just that And that big That big illusion Just being able to attack Multiple times Is so Is pretty it's ridiculous cool. Like It's like My scrap goblin combo And scraps And it only gets better now In the next set Age of Overlord Because we get another Fusion target right We get another fusion monster I, I say we. Sure. We do. They? We get another one. Cool. Yeah, they. Um, anyway. Is there any other, like, normal illusion monsters? Yeah, there's heaps, but they're garbage. In this set? Coming out? Yeah. Cool. It's oh, wait, do you mean normal as in vanilla? Or like no, no, just like... like Non-related to the archetype. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, there are, but they're bad. No. Um, yeah, I should have said normal there, considering... So yeah, uh, second round I versed Exorcist uh, gave me some complications in game one. 
because I went first and he has Chad his... Chad played today. He did. Yeah, I was going to say, um, it's Chad totally it's Chad. It's 100% Chad. Um, but he was like playing a heavy going second build, so just blew out my board and then did his own thing and I couldn't rebuild. Yeah, he main decks evenly. He this does. stage is tiny. Yeah, well, welcome to how he beat me last week or two, three weeks ago. Yeah, it did be like that. Um, but then, yeah, games two and three, I no, just had Nathan enough gas to Why haven't you? wreck him. Nathan hasn't posted cards yet. Okay. T continue. Um, and then round three, I versed Infernoble. Um, it's really annoying, Infernoble. Like, if nothing else, like, obviously they set up all the negates and stuff and you try and play through, but the fact that they generally go for hand knowledge with, like, the yeah. Neo Spatian. Yeah. It's really annoying. Yeah. And then if you hand trap them, they have the talents and they get a second card out of your hand? Yeah. So, like, the... I think it was in, yeah, round one, he just got rid of my starter. I had the Imperm, which meant he had to play around it and he couldn't set up the full board, but then he just has full knowledge of exactly what he's playing into, so he can set up. Like, he ended up just setting up the Tower's Goki link that, like, just sits there at 2800 being unaffected, and I had to try and play around that. Got you can just attack over it, though. Kind of. I had to do a shitty line because my hand was not good. Cause oh, you I, can't attack over 2800. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have one monster in my main deck that can attack over 28. I got to it, but it was like... Why are you summoning Link 4? Because my hand was not good. <laughs> Actually, explicitly, the reason my hand was not good is because he ripped the tour guide out of my hand. Oh, that's okay. It's not okay. You used to not play with tour guide. I know. And now that I have it, I don't know what I'd do with that. <laughs> it's so good. The normal summon I had before just never did anything. And that's what it felt like to play under that particular scenario. Anyway, I ended up losing game one, winning game two, because um, I set up the Xyz and he can't play around it, and then lost Sneeze. game three. Because, again, he ripped my hand and there was the only monster in my hand. Um, so, yeah, didn't win today. But deck is fine. Um... Moving on to some news. We start with Marcel, and there are some big changes coming up. Uh, so we got the announcement the other day that there is an impending ban list. Um, yes. And Woo. they thought that ban list was so good that they would further update it. Uh, with I think a that further limiting. when I opened it today and I was like, oh, this must be the old one. I ignored it. No, no. So uh, they did the standard, uh, this ban list is so good, we're bringing out ban list too. Uh, so they are limiting upon release Tier Elements Cash Tira and Pressure Planet Wraithos. I thought we already knew that Wraithos was limited. We assumed it would be. But no, it okay. wasn't in the initial announcement of like banning um, oh. Kelbeck and all that kind of stuff. I thought it was. It was not. Because I, yeah, because I was like, oh, that was surprising. They didn't limit the other one, Price Heart. Nah, he's at three. He'll be an ultra rare. He is an ultra rare, in fact. Um, we actually, as well as that, got the announcement of the pack um, that's coming out, what, f two days? Yeah, two days from now. Uh, Flames of Fury. Uh, so, in here we've got a bunch of stuff. Um, obviously, we've got the Kashira stuff. Uh, we've got some updates to Gishki, because they got their stuff around that sort of time as well. Oh yeah, it's the noted fire deck Gishki. Yeah, yeah, Flames of... Uh, they're, they're the Fury part, Fury. Fury, yeah. it's fine. Sure. Um, no, <laughs> Flames. Speaking of Flames, we get Ben's current deck. Uh, but did we get Turbulence? And, oh, no, yeah, did, yeah, we got no, Turbulence. Did, the other, did we get Emergency? Well, I haven't got a complete list of cards here, uh, but we'll find out soon whether no, you get the no whole No Emergency, lot. I'm out. You're oh. not going to play it if it doesn't have Emergency? Fuck no. Really? Like, it's two different fucking worlds. But couldn't you go to, like, the previous build that you were doing with the tier element stuff to put shit in bin? No. It significantly worse into a Rise Heart. Like... Oh, true. You cannot play around a Rise Heart without emergency. Yeah. It's just not gonna happen. Okay. But, yeah, we'll find out about that soon. But probably more important than all of that is another card that got announced in this, and I was wondering about when it would come. And that is Triple Tactics Thrust. Here it is. It is indeed coming in two days. Right here. So, this could, in theory, solve all the, like, gripes I have with Master Duel, in that, like, you can go into ranked, and pretty much at any level other than Master, you're going to verse some random shit, like shit you're just not prepared for. 
and with the addition of thrust, you can add those like stupid one ofs that help you with those matchups. And also, like for like combo decks that just hard lose to max C, yeah. you can play that um, trap that's like, oh, if your opponent has more than X cards in hand, shuffle them in and they draw three. Mm. Like, you could just do shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, but also, like, do they. Do those odd decks also trigger thrust a lot? I mean, most people will play max C. Yeah. yeah. Most people, like, if. They're playing Kashtira, they'll be playing like D Shifter and shit. Yeah. Like, just, I think 80% of the triggers of Thrust will be just on people dropping a maxi. Yeah. Then you set card destruction, you keep summoning, then you. And then hope them. that you can activate it next turn. Yeah. Because that's how card destruction works. Yeah. No, you, you add card destruction, you play until you get nibbed, then you card destruction and then win. <laughs> That's not how that works. What do you mean? It is exactly how that works. No. What? Oh, wait, you're saying hold the thrust until they've nibbed. But can't you just add it from deck to hand? You just can't activate it. Until they control a monster. No, no, no. If you set the card, you cannot activate it that turn. No, but don't, you just add the card. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, you'd have to I'm play into the maxi, not activate the thrust, hope that you get nibbed, and then activate it? There you go, that's just keep play. playing. If you get yeah. max E, keep playing until you get nibbed, then thrust card destruction. <laughs> that's, yes. That's a horrible idea. No, you just win. But you don't. But you, you do. Well, we'll find you, out. Quite literally. Oh, we won't find yeah, out you because deck them out. <laughs> you'll just be playing fucking... Actually, what will you be playing? Actually, that, never mind. You won't be playing. Um, this is true. He'll be playing Rush. Drills. Although you are running out of time, you'll need to jump on soon in order to do... Needs a strong word. Uh, well, you see, I don't have the 750 coins gems to pay for the battle pass, so I'm just disregarding it. He's so broke. Everyone you, donate him. If you'd gone in and done any one of the two festivals, within maybe three matches, you would have had of them. Except I didn't want to. I'm also broke. Also give me gems. But for Rush Jewels. Subscribe to our Patreon. Yeah, give him Master Jewel Gems, give me we Rush Jewel Gems. We accept really Patreon should. payment in Rush Jewels. We really should look into, like, a Patreon. Look, it's all been about the 1,000 subs. That's been, like, the arbitrary thing I've locked in my head for a while. Now, like, then we'll figure out how we, like, and then support. Grew, hit literally a stop point. Yeah, it really no, hasn't. No, no down. Yeah. Just right there. Yeah. yeah. We have reached peak saturation. Even, even the even But the also, apps. we do, like, no pushing on this at all like it's purely organic yeah that's about right i don't know it's just so much <sighs> promotions cringe <laughs> why did i bring up my google i don't know i want to see if rest yeah let's check the leaks like i don't know do you like this i can watch it you don't uh whatever Anyway, uh, also happening in Master Duel at the moment, they have uh, the newest iteration of the Triad Duels happening. Uh, by the time you are listening to this, it will have finished. Uh -huh. uh, but this is back to one that they tried a little while ago, the going first and going second one. You build two decks, it does the coin flip, and then you get the deck of the turn that you're doing. Uh, the issue they have with the last turn time is that tier elements had like, just released. Yeah. So if you got second, you were just playing into tier full board more yeah. often than not. Which was disgusting. But couldn't you just put shifter in? You could, but people didn't. But couldn't you just put shifter in? You could, but you, they didn't. Yeah. Good old shifter. Probably because they also wanted to play tier and they didn't want to. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, deck. it's just this. You meant to play a completely different one. Can't you just look? It's actually a good idea. It's a fun idea. Um, I was. What was I doing? I had, I think, branded as my going first deck. Hmm. Probably a poor choice. I don't really know what I'm doing with it in Master Duel. Well, you can't um, send Chimera stuff yet. Not yet. Uh, and then going second, uh, as per normal for me, I played Mac Knights. Why is Konami worried about these leaks websites? They fucking suck. They do. <laughs> like, I will actively never go looking for Master Duel leaks ever again based on the quality of that information. Someone has to know. If emergencies in it. That's the thing, I just checked it and it's like... Nice. We're only going to tell you five of the cards because that's all we know. Do we I get in trouble for just... even just talking like this and saying that emergency at this moment? Uh, emergency at this moment is unconfirmed. 
We will find Just out. Just like it was before enough. I looked up the list. <laughs> anyway, uh, on to some bigger news for us here in the TCG. We have uh, set spoilers uh, having been announced by the Yugi tubers. Shout uh, out to so the French. Spoilers for what? For Age of Overlord. Of what? The cards and their rarities. Ah, what? rarities! Ah! <laughs> I wanted to make that joke, Jake, and you just didn't fucking play into it. What? Just fuck it. Rarities are really expensive for what Ben wants. <laughs> oh, also, yeah. Also, fucking hundred thirty dollars for yeah. So the um, new IP monster. Yeah, it's so, like a one to two of it most. Yeah. So Go Little fuck yourself. Is yeah being released at like hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty dollars for a copy. That is ridiculous. Like, I understand that pre-release prices aren't where they settle. But this is a stupid place to start, and for as, as little as it's going to make any difference because we don't have that many people listening, I urge you all oh, hey. to boycott buying that card at that price. Just don't. If Buy they don't the dip. Si- Buy the dip. <laughs> what is it initially like? Does it need to be in a deck? Upon release, no, it's just like a staple. Yeah, card. it's I mean, it's just there. It's oh, borderline stuff. a staple in Unchained because it's a much better target for yeah. your Link summons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it just comes across as uh, like it's not complete win cons. Uh, you've got plenty of other ways to win without it. Obviously, it gives you a few more, but not at one hundred twenty dollars more. It's ridiculous, like. The so only t- reason I can see it being this price is because nothing else in this set is like drawing that much attention. They better give this an ultra rare in the mega pack because just it having off it mismatch rarities with um, IP is going to bug the shit out of me. Uh, or give it a pri- they will just give it a prismatic secret and we have to get the two prismatic secrets. Yeah, bloody a lot of secret rares this set. I mean, the same amount. Like, key ones. They even, they, unlike where they throw us a bone with, like, a Fenrir, a lot, oh. of, key, a lot of key cards are secret. I mean, depending on which deck you're playing, that's possibly not correct. But anyway, we'll get into it. Uh, so, as per usual, 10 secret rares and 14 ultra rares. Uh, these will all have quarter century rarities in the set as well, um, as well as the new colour of the Magicians of Bonds and Unity. I'm going to check T0 and see what their prices are. Jesus Christ. Uh, so, secrets. I'm We've got... $500 on five cards. TG Rocket Salamander. Visas Samsara. Diable Star the Black Witch. Snake Eyes Flamberge Dragon. Imseti Glory of Horus. Duamufet Blessing of Horus. Arias the Labyrinth Butler. SP Little Knight. TG yep. Limiter Removal. Yep. Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils. Those are our 10 secret rares. Oh, I missed you say the Deal with Star. Sold out at 130 on TZ. Wait, you, did you say Deal with Star Witch? I did. Oh. Deal with Star. Literally the third one I I, I just want a fucking preface here. She should have been an Ultra. I like that they didn't have the balls to allow the person who got to leak the Deal Star stuff to show off those two cards. Like, that person's video that they got to be allowed to do was only allowed to show off seven of the nine cards in the archetype because the other two were secret rares. And the other two were the expensive ones. Wow, that's... Oh, but here's the other thing, though. <laughs> Not technically Snake Eyes. I no. think he was doing a Snake Eyes video, right? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it's still together. Yeah, but not. Yeah. yeah. They're parallel, but not together. They should have just shown the whole thing. I mean, yeah, it, they should have. However, I can buy dumb. a Snake Eyes deck base and it has it in it. <laughs> it I actually considered buying that. Why isn't she an ultra? Have. Why it it seems they'd had this down pat from for so many years of you give the key cards the cheaper slots, get people interested. You give the search cards the higher slots because they're the ones we play more of. They get you more money. Mm. Or you just make them all secret and we're all going to chase them because the Rescue Ace uh, fellows are going to go... It's up. not just Rescue Ace, a bunch of decks are going to use this. Yeah. The Including Snake sold out. How much? It sold out at uh, 469 Well, that's definitely worth it. I just uh, feel uh, Oh, not worth it. Otherwise I wouldn't bought it. Because the, the stuff I needed was only like 300 
I wasn't paying an extra 170 bucks for all of those other secrets and ultras that I don't need. Because those deal with stars are going to be... Really? I only... 80? I only yeah, yeah, say it. That's on, like, it should only be 80, and then yeah. that search spell is going to be like 120, right? The search spell was 80, the Devil Star was 50. That's a bargain. Yeah. Um, some, those good. are going up. <laughs> some positive things in the set, though, outside of that. Um, in Ultra, we've got the Super Star Slayer Typhon, Sky Crisis, the Anti Zeus. Mm. So that's good. I that's oh, that's I remember good. that card. you got to say Typhon. So Typhon, you have the, there's, a, no, there's a hyphen in that Typhon. <laughs> I made that up halfway through that sentence, and I'm really happy with that. Look at him, improv god. Yeah. Anywho, <laughs> alongside that, we also have the King Sarcophagus in Ultra. See, that doesn't matter. It's the bloody the one that searches. It's the you good one. You could have this morning, Jake bought the whole Horus deck for two hundred and forty-four dollars. I could have done a lot of things this morning. However, I'm not buying at pre-release prices. Fuck that. Uh, uh, this is not too secret, is it? I, uh, I don't care. Yeah. I think that was not a that's, good price. That's, yeah, that's going up. With All this, this is going with up. With discount code on top of this. Maybe it's ah. not. Events are back. Events are crazy. Australia, like, everyone's going to be buying for YCS soon. Oh, we're in trouble. Ah, we'll be fine. <laughs> Um, I could buy a case of the set. Right oh, now. God, I have to go to the sneak peek. You do, which is a week Sneaky from now. Peaky. Sneaky peeky. I'll find something else to do. Um, but we also have some uh, new World oh, that's Premier combat, cards uh, that have been it is, yes. brought in to Age of Overlord. Wait, what? Com Day? Uh, yeah, Com Day is next week. For Timbo! Oh, Timbo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but we can't go to uni. Why not? Because yeah. yours and else is on. Oh, ugh. Well, you can, but there'll be no reception. Oh, it's yours and else at the uni? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we have so to find some. I always thought they held that in that fucking shitty field. They used to. The side, this is the first time. Yeah, it's more the, res- the f- it's just more the, the net- but the network reception. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. And parking. Back to uh, the world premiere cards that have been announced. Uh, we have two warriors that are getting a lot of hype. Uh, which is Ken and Dren, the <laughs> the flower uh, pop man. <laughs> yeah, effectively the I warrior have to dragon put up with that joke and the diamond tiger. Of my life, you have to put up with that joke now. Excuse me. Keep moving. You're telling Mr. Burns about jokes about <laughs> his name yes. or your name. But your name is Burns, not Burns. Who was saying Burns? Right. <laughs> the crowd. Anyway, well, um, picked up on any of these microphones. So one of these summons the other. One of them then makes the person who got it discard a card or makes the person who summoned it to their field draw two and discard one. Um, so yeah, it's getting a lot of hype. I don't fully get it. Because, I mean, so yeah, it gives Dark World something to play around with. It gives Makanko something to play around with. Like Fuck Makanko. Well, I mean, no. Uh, yeah, it's just... It's a cool idea. Oh. A cool idea. You give your opponent a card and you don't horrifically neg. You somewhat. Just a little. Uh, we also get Asset Mountus, a level 7 light insect. Uh, if your p- c- opponent controls a level 6 or lower monster, it special sums itself. And then if you have more cards in your in your hand than your opponent, which if you're only second, more than likely you will, uh, change the battle position of all monsters on the field. All other insect monsters on the field become the same attribute and level as this card, and then you can't summon anything except for insects for the rest of the turn. Um, Could you not play the previous cards just with, like, just 3-3 and 3 tactics? You could do that. Yes. Eh. Uh, We get a new Pit Knight link as well. Cool. Is it it good? No. It's not bad. Oh. Like, there's definitely worse Link 2s. I'm trying to remember the name of those guys at the store in Brisbane. I'm sure they've got sneak peeks up. Real prices. Team Card Titan? Is that the one? Maybe. Let's have a look. Uh, and then we get some weird uh, level 3 yeah, thing. Yeah, the, the, uh, the Hunter spell? No, the other one, not Hunter. Watts. Yeah. Uh, so special summon two level three or lower light monsters from hand. Mm. Uh, if they are the same original type, they can attack directly this turn. Oh no, the Watts can attack directly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this isn't them making everything Watts, right? Wait, you said level three or lower? Yeah. Oh. Uh, and then if they have the same original level, they also can be destroyed by battle. 
which makes no sense because if you've gone for the entire to the end of the turn uh yes is it quick play yes uh you can play it defensively or offensively i guess it's bad yes <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, the Warriors are getting some hype because, like, it triggers tactics and blah, 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 blah. But the thing is, it plays into the same things that all of those kinds of cards play into, in that people will just ash it or imperm it and all that kind of stuff. So unless you can somehow extend on that or with that, I don't see a lot of value. Ashing, your, ashing a monster your opponent just gave is pretty funny, though. I mean, you just, no, 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 you, you ash, ash the effect that summons No, them. you ash the, the effect to draw, come on now. You've got to stop that discard. <laughs> no. <laughs> then it's silver, then you lose two. As if you wouldn't stop the discard. You stop the thing that makes you discarding. And then the imperm that you likely have in your hand is still live. Oh yeah, because it summons from deck. Yes. Update. But still summoning from deck to the opponent's field, yeah, you can ash that. You would absolutely ash that. <laughs> Look. No, you ash the second one. <laughs> no, you still get talents to no, get a card ripped out of your hand. Yeah, no matter what, yeah, talents is still winning here. Yeah, maybe we should all play four talents. I mean, I'm playing two and triple thrust. I've got one in there. I was thinking of bumping up to two. I found the other one in a random box. I put them in spiral <laughs> and immediately went. Yeah. Spiral shit. Uh, sticking with the TCG, we have... <laughs> feels really... Like annoying to have to say this announcements for OTS twenty three. What do we got in store at the moment? Twenty one. Twenty one. Mm. We now Australia hasn't gotten twenty two. No, New Zealand has for months, and they can't get it over here for some reason. <sighs> Makes me so angry. Oh, I hate this ulti. Econ and cuck. Yeah, econ. Yes. So the ones that we now know, we have two out of the three. Econ, which was announced when they first uh, hinted at it, and uh, Kurikara Divincarnate yeah. being the other. And then we've got a couple of supers as well, DD Crow, yep. um, your dude, whatever his name is. Impulse? I don't know which one that is. Impulse. Impulse. Uh, and then the TG Trap. So fucking random. Uh, but on top of all that... Hate, and that trap, I fucking hate that trap too. Uh, yeah, but like... <laughs> Econ already had plenty of high rarity chase cards. You could literally have given it to anything else, or even repeat one that we would do. Like you could have printed a Sky Striker card. <laughs> Please not. Or branded in red. Yeah, give us um, give us ulti linkage. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Could have done all of those useful things. Or common linkage. Still, I think I'd, I'd, I'd rather the econ. <laughs> There's so many other versions. It's fine. It's literally fine. This cunt won't I've... fucking accept <laughs> Albaz. Oh no, Albaz shit. Fucking car we have a million, like $600 copies of that look better, pristine thing. Oh no, nah, no, nah, fuck that. Give me it. Give me that shitty ulti econ. Yeah, I like, you. I, like, oh, I like them doing ulti. Probably already is fucking ulti. I don't like them doing the new cards. Or, better yet, ulti metamorphosis. It's not going to happen for you, bro. I'm sorry. It's a but back super. more importantly than that, we have a date for release oh. for anyone but us because we won't be getting it this date. I would be almost angry if I got it this date because we would have skipped all the other shit and just not gotten the other. This one is due out 25th of October. What if they just didn't print enough 22 and said yeah. alphabetically we're going to not distribute it there? We'll, yeah. we'll start the with the, the Zambia alphabet. and then work our way back. <laughs> the Zambians deserve their OTS Pack 23, Jake. <laughs> the Zambians love branded. Yeah. Thought, actually, actually, I'm, I'm so more upset about this. You want a branded fusion. Oh. Well, yeah, branded fusion is nice. Yeah, branded and fusion, like, good. Econ. <laughs> I'd rather the econ. <laughs> He's. Look, I hate branded as much as the next person. Well, I'm kind of indifferent to it until you could use it with chimeras. Uh, this is a bad idea. Give me Brain of Fusion. Actually, nah, ulti Brain of Fusion would look ugly anyway. No, I thought the same. It actually looks really oh, nice. I'll take your word for it. Because I'm never going to see it. No, that's not true. If I do see it. You'll come it. in that random Thursday that you have free in your Yeah, and then, uh, there's going to be like two dropped on me. It's going to be two defense mode uh, Bernies. Oh, I've forgotten the Bernies. No, no, I was, I was thinking you come in and like for your OTS you get to like take one. Oh. Like you get I'm one in your it. pack, you're just assuming that someone's going to brand a fusion you out of the fucking game. <laughs> What's the I've forgotten Bernie's name again? 
The one that burns 600 every time you play it. Yeah, I've forgotten. Oh my god. Full band. Should be full band, I'll tell you that much. It's not that. It's not that good anyway. Oh my Masquerade. god. Masquerade. Yeah. My old masquerade. Never that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but we uh, duck over to the OCG and we have some more cards that have been announced for Phantom Nightmare. Um, so I, I'm a little puzzled as to what Bragg's now thought about what Econs were good Econs. There's, there's a few tournament pack Econs. Nah, supers, who cares? There's a lot of Shatterfoil Econs. There is. What's the next, what's the highest value version of Econ? I would imagine it's a turbo pack, right? Yeah, it's going to be a super. Uh, D-Rev. What? Oh, oh, it's oh. champion pack printing is a rare. Guys, it's Dark, Revolution, uh, Dark Revelations Volume 2 Super is the most expensive version. Uh, it has a market price of 50. Well, it's about to come down. Uh, 41 listings from $7. Just... <laughs> Kicking them in the teeth. Also, there's the Ancient Century Ultra, which is beautiful. But I kind of would just like them to give an ulti. This card deserves an ulti. This is a great ulti. The you more heard it I here look about this, Econ's a great ulti. I didn't think I'd ever hear it. At least not until OTS 35 where they gave one of his stupid firemen a fucking ulti. No, that's fine. If they gave me an ulti, I'd kind of be pissed. I'd rather just old cards be printed as ultis. Not Econ! There's so many other ones. <laughs> Sakuretsu Ulti OTS 27. <laughs> Look! I'd be pretty Yeah, I'll be, I'll be down for that! You're a fucking cooked. It's better than Econ. Sakuretsu Armor Ulti? I'd give you a fucking like, yeah! Anyway. This is great! Phantom Nightmare. We have some new cards that have been announced. Ulti Wobaku. Uh, so we get Memento Uramon. Oh my god, shut the yeah. fuck up. See? That makes more fucking sense! Well, Econ's in the format. Also, so there's still it hard. another. Yeah, but you can play three Econ. <laughs> there's still three. another oh. ulti to be announced. It could be Change of Heart. It could be Rescue Ace. There's no way two spells. Could be Dick Seven Smasher, Rose whatever Gigas. Fucking name is. It's not that. Oh. Anyway, Memento Uramon, level two Dark Fiend. What flavor drama is it? Ura. I hate that noodle oh, guy. I don't like that flavor. Yeah, you wouldn't. Anyway, uh, if it's normal special, target a memento in the graveyard, add it to the hand. If it's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon it. Buy, oh, buy a memento monster effect. This caused a fucking buyout of the relinqu of the Kareem words based off. Why? Of um, Ghost in the Attic. Yeah. Yeah. Because people are like, oh, it's support. It's not. They have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> also, this was days ago. I had a freak out about this translation again as well, as per my freak outs about translations. I mean, yeah, there's a the whole s section of translation that I shan't be reading. Um, next from that set, we've got... Uh, no, we talked about this one last week. It was garbage. Uh, we've got a interesting spell having been announced. Uh, this one is called Back Mutation. Woohoo! Tribute a fusion or synchro. Special summon a monster with the same original level from your deck, but return it to the hand during the end phase. Like, that's so cheesy. Reverse metamorphosis. Quite, and yeah, and the artwork is so on point as well. It's so good. I didn't actually look at the artwork. Yeah, it's Dark Bolts are turning back into Cyber Dragon. I'm not uh. sure whether or not it's going to be that useful. It'll find the That's niche. cute. I feel like it's going to play in, like, it's only going to apply to like three card combos. Well, yeah. Because you need to get something out from the extra deck. Yeah, people need to be like, check out my combo. I hard drew this, and then also hard drew this other combo. I mean, it's a two-card combo of Runic gets Max C. But it summons it to the field, doesn't it? Yeah, and then bounces it back during the end phase. Yeah, okay. That's a good application that we don't have. But also kind of kind of shit, because they, they know you have the no. Max C. Yeah. <laughs> like... Yeah, but what can they do? I'm just not going to special summon this turn. Ha <laughs> ha. Look, give, give us a retrain metamorphosis that bounces the fusion back. To hand. Just give us metamorphosis. It's Don't not that do good. that. Metamorphosis is a shit card. If you can have reverse metamorphosis, we can have actual metamorphosis. Until they ban Dragoon, I don't think that's really going to happen. The, what's... Dragoon's an easy card to out. Dragoon's an easy card to summon. Activate Red Eyes Fusion. 
Pitch King of the Swamp. <laughs> Burp. Burp. See? Those are a goon right here. I can't yell on the podcast, it's... but man can burp into the fucking microphones. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Well, you just gotta, you just gotta find a, a level to... So you need to peak your yelling. You When you yell, the people three stories up go, oh, that asshole's over again. Good. Fuck them. Anyway, um, we get another trash car that's been announced. Uh, this one is called uh, Goblin Paratrooper Squad. Oh, yeah, this is funny. Yeah. So if it's special summon, This is the kind of lore I can deal yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lore from the OG parts of Yu-Gi-Oh! So if it's special summoned from the hand in attack position, target and effect monster the opponent controls change this one to defense mm-hmm. and negate the other one's effects while this one's face up. Mm. Uh, and then if a monster is special summoned to the opponent's field while it's in the graveyard, you can discard a card and add it back to your hand. No, so it's just a buddy for Goblin to Berg. What? Yeah. Uh, the more and more th- of these, like, goblins come out and the goblins have, like, things, the worse I feel for Goblin Attack Force. They were charging in there with clubs and they had fucking paratroopers. That yeah. means they had planes. Yeah. They didn't need to send grunts in there. I mean, Goblin to literally just m- mentioned Goblin Berg. No, Goblin Berg is just a one person plane. It's not, yeah, which you can run not multiples of. To drop off an entire air, air troop squadron. Well, I mean, if there. I, I'm going to assume there's a Goblin Air Force carrier. Yeah. Like, aircraft carrier, whatever. Why like, have we not gotten that card yet, Carl? Yeah. We? Where's Goblin Aircraft They only aircraft? just got to the. Jerome, where is Goblin Aircraft carrier? Like. Why are you just leaving the Goblin Attack Force out to dry? The Goblin Attack Force died immediately because they were sent in there with fucking clubs. Unless you had skill drain. Anywho. See? Skill drain saves lives. <laughs> skill drain does save lives. Well, the lives of your troops. I'm going to play Goblin Attack Force Control. Give Normal it a go. summon Goblin Attack Force. So you were upset when you were playing a competent 2023 <laughs> deck when people played blowout cards, and you're hoping now that when you play Goblin Attack Force, set some traps pass, that everything's going to be okay. Well, I'm just going to keep the skill drain. Well, 2300 okay. runs over everything by Dragies. And Bestials. What? And no, this doesn't happen. Those cards no, are, no that definitely drain. doesn't happen. There's yeah, a skill yeah, drain there, Jay. Yeah, yeah. The Bistials and Kashira definitely don't just summon themselves. I'll equip Big Bang Shot. You can do that. You can do anything you like. Oh, Bistials against Seven Sword. That would be so dog. Yeah. Yeah. Never bring Rush Joe. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd activate my fusion spell map. And they just banish the target. <laughs> um. <laughs> Then we have the V Jump promo that we spoke about a little while ago. Um, we got hinted at it before, the Pendulum Witch. We now know its full effects. Uh, so it is a scale eight, three, uh, level three. Uh, so if it's in the Pendulum Zone. It's not even called Performer Pal Pendulum Witch. No, it's just Pendulum Witch. I don't like that. Why? It's still searchable. But I'd like to just to be called Performer Pal. 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 <laughs> So, if a face of fusion, synchro, or exes you control is destroyed by battle or opponent's card effect while it's in the pendulum zone, add a pendulum monster with the same original type as one of those monsters destroyed from your deck or extra deck face up. Oh, deck to your extra deck face up. So it's slow electromite. Um, and then while it's on the board, if it's normal pendulum summon, target one card in your pendulum zone and destroy both that card and this monster. And if you do, add a level 4 or lower pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. And if it's destroyed in the monster zone, place in the pendulum zone. I'm impressed. It's not bad. No, I'm impressed that you called it slow ele- electromite. You're, you're really progressing with your linguistics. Soon you'll use a better term than slow electromite. I have a term that I'd like to call you, but I feel like get demonetized. What's the so, well, it's more so for his channel. We're not getting money. Um, Oh, I could. <laughs> there's, there's an idea. I said fucking. <laughs> he's not getting money from this the model. first thirty seconds. <laughs> huh? I said fucking the first thirty seconds. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It gets censored on TikTok, which also doesn't get us money. Not yet. It will never will. <laughs> um, yeah, did you get anything from your like billions of views? See, you got to live stream some duels. I've seen people doing that with their 
Oh, kill me now. I'm fucking. Get money from it. It's not worth it. <laughs> Live I'd draws. rather do those fucking reaction TikToks where they Live. just like react to emotes. Live anyway. TikTok jewels. So, we have the announcement of Phantom Nightmare for the TCG. Um, it's all pretty much the same nonsense that they talked about in the last one. However, they've also hinted at the next world premiere archetype. Uh, so, where is the bit that I'm looking for? Tristina? Ugh. No, 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 no. They've Wait, we didn't talk about them. Because uh, they're garbage. Yes. Conversation over. You're going to have to do better, Jerome. They're fairly bad. But the next TCG archetype they've hinted at in the blur before our release. Uh, the events of ancient battles play out over and over again in the brand new world premiere pyro theme. Lights up the field in Phantom Nightmare. Make sure to pick up Maze of Millennia. Uh, what have they called time it here? For pyro. Have a look at what they've written for that set name. At least we remembered it. Maze of Millennia? Yeah. Two. Get. Oh, yeah. they just haven't put a space there. Yeah. See, I've read it as Maze of Mill Milleniato. And that's, the co <laughs> that's the original copy, isn't it? That's not even the article. I was they just failed. I think they've just copy pasted. Oh yeah, and on the embedding of the hyperlink, they've lost the space. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, make sure to pick up your Maze of Millennia to get your copies of Bonfire, so you'll be ready to try it out when Phantom Nightmare launches in February. He remembered it. Uh yeah, February. Ew, that's. Uh it's gonna be an okay set, and but Pyros seem. It seems like they're a bit late for the Pyros, considering this was the Year of Fire, and uh, February is notably in uh, 2024, which is not the Year of Fire. No, it's in the card-printed financial year. Ah, yeah, <laughs> true. Wait, I thought the It is the Pyro financial year. <laughs> didn't we get stuff before June? We didn't, no. No, no, so the February set normally misses the Megatim, so it's not in our financial year of card printings. Gotcha. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so this like is coming out... This oh, shoot, I did tax. Hmm. Um, it's yeah. October. How have neither of you done your tax? No, I've done mine. I'm just saying he. Yeah, needs... but you did yours three days ago. A, that's wrong. Yeah, B, sorry, it was four it's days not ago. Up My to bad. Me. I launched it or sent it off to the person to do it, and they took a month and a half in order to do it. He made it seem like he's blaming some well-financed tax person. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they are not. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Look, I went to, I. I... I went to, and then I saw how much I was getting. I'm like, I can't be fucked doing this. I've got to find something. I've got to find some other way to write some shit off. So I'm still writing shit off. Yes. Don't audit me. Well, no, nah, come at me. You probably owe me. <laughs> uh, tax Jerome. <laughs> yeah, Jerome. <laughs> Is Konami paying their tax bill? Doubtful. Um, someone tell the people that took down Ronaldo. Or was it the other guy? Or was it the other other guy? The other, other guy? What's with soccer players and committing tax fraud? They're just like Jerome. It's, yeah, I feel like it's second nature at this point for this. Yes. Kick goals, commit tax fraud. <laughs> Look, it's pretty hard to keep track of what the European Union hates and likes, so. Can I get a custom French national soccer team jersey with tax fraud on the back of it? Almost definitely. Yes. Anyway, have you done the basketball jerseys yet? <laughs> <laughs> they have been ordered, yeah. Moving on, uh, so if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Only the one question this week. No, it makes me sad. No, we got one. That's more. okay, there was a lot of news! There was a fair bit of news, yeah. We have been going for just over oh, 50 minutes. And there's, yeah, there's one that I want to harken back to that didn't get talked about properly. Oh? Yeah, we weren't paying attention when you asked the question. Last anyway. Week. Uh, the first question this week comes to us from 6i6. How excited are you for cards coming in Age of Overlord? Which of the common printing cards in Age of Overlord do you actually want to play slash do you like the most? I'll be real, I don't actually know what was common in the set. I've only looked at the high rarity cards. Correct. Wait, let's go with the switchy card, the train, the train track switchy card. Is that a common? Oh, uh, no, that's a super. Fuck! Can we change the to super because it's that one? Why can't that card be activated from the hand? Why not? Two Why? hand traps is enough. No, more. Give us more evenly match. You need it, G. No, I don't. I have three. If I, if I ever said you can play six evenly matched, you would. Yeah, but that's not evenly matched. Oh, I'm sorry. The guards go to graveyard. Ah. Yeah, I don't want recursion for you. Get out. Sure. 
could go face down in the graveyard. Yeah, <laughs> where's face down graveyard? It is the graveyard. They should be buried properly. <laughs> <laughs> Just corpses strewn along in the graveyard occasionally one of them comes back <laughs> yeah why did you get someone open caskets i just i just don't get the hype because 90 percent of the cards i print are fucking boo-boo and they want people to see it but you don't want to see dead boobers <laughs> well i mean <sighs> don't speak for some people out there because they may disagree with you what's the what's a zombie furry called azuri 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 freak look at that look at that Barry statue. Disgusting. It literally does nothing. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. It's just to stop the mirror from your opponent dropping the fusion spell on you. So you've got to out that first. Buys you a turn. Pretty cute. Yes. Not very. Buys you a turn. Because uh, there's no main phase two. Those new TCG exclusive cards, I'm kind of curious to see how they go, but also sceptical. Uh, God, this... It's going to be a wild time. And this is the and this is the layout before YCS, right? We've got the one, we've got the the reprint set. We've got a deck build pack, and that's it. Yes. And the deck build packs kind of mid, and yeah. yeah, all that kind of nonsense. Like Chicken. sizzling. It smells real good. Chicken. I've had so much chicken this week. Um, what was the entirety? Back on to the subject of all you can eat pizza. Yeah, we need to book that. Oh, I was going to go. say, hey, we should do this for you, there. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's in Sydney. Harry wants back in the group chat. Oh. Again? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I don't care. Welcome back, Harry. You've just been re-added to the group chat. He and better you... not have left the Discord. I'll be pissed if he has. You leave again? I want to let you back again. Does that mean he's going to play again? Yeah. Or does he just want people to talk to look he saw yeah that too probably there's there's more people on this added to the group list than there was last time i checked uh and none of them are harry uh where are you at why have i lost the question here we are so we went back a few weeks let da da so the question was, back a few weeks, why do you think Yu-Gi-Oh! was so far behind the other two big T- C- uh, CCGs in terms of podcasts and how big those podcasts are? We can you talk about this. No, you guys covered how it was, uh, how the coverage was done and talked about how uh, Pokemon TCG's live streams are better than um, Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm like, they have not talked about podcasting at all. <laughs> no, Ben mentioned the fact that those games have a much higher fan base and mm. have been running for a lot longer mm. and they then pivoted right in talking about yeah, streams yeah, yeah, yeah. let me finish you motherfucker so he mentioned the fact that because they've been running longer the age base is higher and those people are more likely to watch long form content i didn't talk about any of this Jesus you fucking did i will pull up the screenshots and like ram them down your throat yeah you okay, did you well did say something I, to that effect i did spectacularly bullshit out of my mouth and not remember it yeah, look, he did say something to that effect. Uh, the other one was, is, yeah, it's just that... I think even the attention span, like, it's I'm, just I'm, we're here for lists and to get out. My mentality was that those games, the, the gameplay itself lasts, is yeah. longer. Not the games are older. No, the gameplay itself is longer, so therefore the people that play those card games have the time to slow down and be like, ah, yes, I can think. I will consume this podcast. And then I will consume this podcast. And then when the person that does this podcast goes over here and doesn't do any podcasts anymore and this person gets in a new person, I'll consume this podcast. I don't like that with the demonstration. I don't think it's going to show up well on the camera, but... Not at all. If anything, it'll just be, shot. like, a lot of glare. Bear. So, yeah, <laughs> I tried to edit that to answer the question. I and I couldn't answer the question. I answered the question. But also, yeah, a whole bunch of the other um, Yu-Gi-Oh! podcasts sucked in the beginning, and so did ours. Well, so, like, when you look at metrics for any Yu-Gi-Oh! video, it is literally just, like... I'm going to draw a chart now, okay? I need to clear my chart oh, space. Clear Christ. the board for the chart. Okay. You see, video... So this is a chart of watch time. Video start time. Uh, cards start showing up. Cards finish showing up. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how deck lists go. And if it's a video with... At the end of the video where they have the whole deck together and they're like, 
Yeah, this is my combo video. It normally would go, look at the first combo, skip to the end when the deck profile's there. It is painfully true. I know it's true. And these are only seven, eight minute videos, and people are watching 20 seconds of them. Yu-Gi-Oh! players aren't going to stay for a whole fucking podcast. Which is funny, because like Pokemon games and Magic games last a lot longer, so those people, in theory, have less time to watch long-form content. If anything, they want to just breeze through stuff, but they can't because of the nature of it. No, their, their brains are just hardwired to consume enjoyable media to them at a different pace. Are you trying to call them slow? No, no I'm saying they're patient. I am. I'm saying you're trying to call them slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> patient also yeah sure uh and it's just uh, the it's so fractured and magic and the people that did magic podcasts are still doing them while the original set of Yu-Gi-Oh podcasts fell off and then well we, even we fell off for a bit like it's just it's so hard to retain audience especially in uh, I think there's a high churn of players as well in Yu-Gi-Oh where so then people come in there's no real big podcast, so they just find whatever they like and they go and listen to it. So we're all split across fucking 30. I think there's, there's heaps of them now. So we end up with people watching Kira Twig. <laughs> What's going on? Kira Twig. There yeah. are a lot of random... And today I'm going to show you my jack profile for generators. Uh, first off, <laughs> you want to play this generator. Uh, you want to play this at three because it's the only one. And uh, the rest of the cards, we're going to put in great cards that make the generator. Like uh, this effect monster, Fleur de Lis. You see, if you have a monster of summon from the extra deck, you can summon this to the field. So you're going to go into your uh, link once, then you're going to summon your Fleur de Lis, and then you're going to make Generator. Um, and then then we're going to play uh, Tuna Deer Servant. Uh, even though if we use that Deer Servant, we can't make our Generator, it's okay, we'll make the Generator on the following turn. Um, then we play a third Nadir Servant, because I, I think we just leave that one. Nadir Servant. Um, but here's the links. But we know what happened, making. and that's what makes it special. Yeah, yeah, And the yeah. audience as well. It's okay. Uh, and then, then we have the Genonator, and then we go into the Genonator <laughs> on the next turn. Um, but also, uh, sorry, I forgot. This? When I was explaining... Oh, the I know combo, that card. Um, it's the switchy thing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, what everyone still, made play monsters in this zone, because still, that zone is not where she pointed. You still also can't make the, the Link Spider on the turn you activate your Nadir Servant, so you're going to have to wait the extra turn to use your normal monster that you've held on to to make the Link Spider. To then make the generator with your Fleur de Lis. That was my combo video. Ah, uh, yeah. And you wonder why we're not here listening to Yu Gi Oh podcasts. Thank, thank you for <laughs> thank you for watching Kira Twig today. Um, if Kira Twig, if you're watching, just, yeah. go say hello to Jerome. He prob Jerome probably likes Kira Twig. Yeah. Jerome watches Kira Twig videos. And goes. You know this what? man's gonna be great with Tristina. <laughs> Looks at his deck profiles. I should make that a solo mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, it didn't help that a whole bunch of YouTubers like uploaded uh, videos as po and called them podcasts, and then didn't do anything to put it on any podcasting platforms. Yeah, when Pack was like, "I've got a podcast, guys," he did like two episodes, and then didn't do one for six months, and then was like, "Season two's here." Like, what? Oh, and there's also yeah, the miss, like, also there's like a, a whole bunch of people think podcasts are for just investigations only and are seasonal things. It's the, the caning, do do serial shit. What? The X-Files. A whole bunch of people got in, like, to podcast from serial where they just think it's a set thing and not just constant week to week coverage. It's the podcast we all listen to. Sports. Woo! Yeah, we've always tried to be more of a sports talk radio, but for you, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, that's what we're here for. Call in! Actually, I wouldn't mind a voice we should. We should do that once. Yeah. Just open up the Discord, have people Podcast ask questions. Podcast live. Yeah? Yeah. The issue is our fucking viewer base watches at such erratic times. They really do. But like, there is no consensus of like, we have 15 people that watch right at this moment. It's like, no. Two here, one here, three here, two here, one here, three here. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my Friday listeners. My Friday listeners. Shout out to our Friday listeners. Because, yeah, they're there. There's like a little bump at the end of the week. I'm just like, all right, sure, we take that. They finish the work week and they're like, hmm. Yeah, now. What happened let's last listen week? to three white yeah. guys talk about a trading card game. <laughs> Jake, why can't you be colored? <laughs> 
It'll give us diversity. <laughs> that will conclude us for this week. <laughs> Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are on our Discord, feel free to drop us some more questions for next week. If you are watching along on YouTube, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, favorite us on your streaming platforms and give us a review. It really helps us. And we will catch you all next week. Peace. No matter.